Hello Minecrafters, Kevin here, showing off a loading bar. I have perfectly replicated my least favorite aspect of video games. And you can too. This is actually quite simple. Uh, I have it going at this rate, but you can have it going at whatever rate you want it to. It could even be longer than this, possibly, if you wanted it to be. But basically, the circuitry is real simple. This is just shortening the length to one or two ticks for that input. And then this is your uh, piston tape, which cycles the piston uh, block over here, down to here, which ends up being the output. That output stops the uh, loading bar from it going anymore by pulling a block away from the clock here. So when you start it up again, you can see that this completes the clock because there's no longer a block sitting here. Now the tape works because a sticky piston pulls back a block and the normal piston here pushes that block away two ticks later. And that's what these, uh, this circuitry is set up to do. It just two tick delay. That's that simple. Uh, I have this, um, this is just here to make the uh, redstone here point in one direction versus all directions. It just draws the attention away. Um, the way it then works is with a, another go I can show you. It's using signal length. Um, the signal from this this block right here travels a maximum of 15 blocks. So every time it moves over, it shortens this, which causes the torches to turn on. Those torches turn on to extend, uh, extend the blocks out, which you can see here. And it's all lit up right now, so it doesn't seem to be a very cool two-tone uh, display. But when you seal it off, you can see it's dark because these half slabs, this is upside down, this is right side up, they don't let in light. and But they let you see through just fine. And when the block is pushed up against them, it's lit, lit just fine. Uh, that's what, based on a pixel design Sandcarn came up with, I just took it and I used half slabs to stretch it out. And technically you can stretch it out as long as you wanted to. The only thing that limits the length of this loading bar is, again, using that signal length. Uh, and you can make this all more compact. I just figure if I made it more compact, it'd be harder to show you all the components. This is the torches and the way that they each activate the pistons. It's designed so that they both activate at roughly the same time, but this repeater adds a one tick delay, uh, which isn't noticeable, but maybe someone could come up with a better design. I have a few ideas here, obviously. <laughs> um, but that's it. It's that. It's, it's simple. It's, uh, I don't know, you could implement it in any of your designs which involve long waiting for people. It, people love to see a loading bar because it gives them that, that um, sad, sad, satisfa sa satisfaction. And maybe next time I'll make the YouTube buffering thing because everybody loves that. And it's really cool to see you guys. Bye. Bye.